So hello and welcome, it's uh, Stephen from podmates.com. Um, we've recently added a new uh, notes editor to our site and it uses a system called Markdown. So this is a very brief Markdown tutorial to help you on your way into writing brilliant notes within Podmedics. So this is what I think you need to know. Um, firstly, what exactly is Markdown? Uh, you also need to know how to write Markdown um, and we'll go through some headings, phrases, emphases and lists, etc. Um, but the main thing is why would you want to do this and how is this going to benefit you? We'll also touch on that. So what is Markdown? Well, Markdown is a writing tool that essentially allows you to write plain text and tag formatting such as bold and italics and lists as you go along using the punctuation marks based on your keyboard. It was originally developed by a gentleman called John Gruber and Adam Schwartz and the overriding design principle for Markdown is that it's very readable. Um, when we write for websites, uh, we usually tag things using a code called Hypertext Markup Language or HTML, and this is not very readable at all. So the idea of Markdown is that you can use simple punctuation marks to denote formatting, and this will be then transmitted into HTML. And you might be thinking, well, why would I want to be doing that? Uh, we'll go through that in a moment. So Daring Fireball is the blog of John Gruber, so I do recommend that you visit this site. So why write in Markdown? Well, there are lots of reasons to write in Markdown, but I feel the most important ones are that when you write that your formatting stays where it should. So sometimes you may format something in a word processor and then try and place it are on a web application or in a different application and your formatting gets all screwed up. So one of the best reasons to write in Markdown is that your formatting will stay where it should, whether it's in plain text or whether it's uh, imported into a web application or another desktop application. It's also very, very fast to type and there's no mouse required. You can do it as you're typing, never take your hands off the keyboard and I think that's great. When your text is formatted in Markdown, it's very easy to read. The tags, the punctuation mark tags, don't get in the way. And when it's marked up, I should, or I should say really marked down, um, in its plain text form, the punctuation marks still mean something. So that even when you've tried to make something look bold, it still kind of looks bold when it's marked up. And you'll see that later when we show you a preview. It's also very easy to write, so it's, it's not particularly difficult. The punctuation marks are accessible on everybody's keyboard, and when you get used to it, it's very, very quick. For more information, you can go to the Podmedix site at uh, podmedix.heroku.com and read a blog article that I've written about why I like to use Markdown. So let's get into it, and let's first talk about headings. Now, there are various levels of headings, going from the top level heading, a second level heading, third, fourth, and so forth. Um, and the way you donate heading levels is by using the hash sign. So this hash or pound sign um, in front of the text that you want as your heading will give you a top level heading. If you put two hash signs in, this will give you a second level heading and so on and so forth. So for a six level heading, you need to put six hash signs. It's a bit of a mouthful. Um, phrase emphasis, so the things we use to emphasize phrase are bold and italics and to write an italicized text, place an asterisk before and after the text you want to appear in italics and this will give you italicized text. For bold text you can use two asterisks and this will give you emboldened text. Listing items, so for our unordered lists which are a list of bullets you can use the minus sign. You can also use others like the plus or a single asterisk um, and we'll go through that a bit later and this will give you a bulleted list. For ordered list where you want numbers to appear you can simply just type the numbers one dot and then space and the list item that you want will give you a bullet point that appears as a number in the text. So that's very easy and intuitive. Uh, you can also write links and the way that you do this is that you write the name of the link that you want to appear in the text in square brackets and then you put open a parentheses and you put the URL of the link that you want it to link to and you also put the, the name that you want to appear when the mouse is hovered over the text and you can put this in quotation marks 
uh, before you close the parentheses and this will give you something that looks like that and when you click it it will take you to the link that you've specified within the parentheses. There are lots of other things such as code blocks, quotations, images and horizontal rules that I probably won't show all of them to you. Um, it's probably best to go to either the Wikipedia page or John Goober's page and let, let, let's have a look at a preview now. So okay, this is how we're going to do our preview. Um, we've got two panes here and I'm using an application called Notational Velocity Alt. Um, and in the left hand pane over here, um, you're going to be seeing what I'm typing. And I'm going to be typing the text that I want, but I'm also going to be typing the formatting in line with the text. And you'll be able to see a preview of what that gives us on this right hand pane here, the preview pane. So let's start with a simple heading. So if you remember to do a top level heading, which is what I want for the title of this note, I'm going to use a single hash sign and then I'm going to type the, the title of my note. So there's my title and you see on the right hand side it's given us a top level heading. Then I can write, uh, this is some more text about the note. Um, so that's just a normal paragraph and you donate paragraphs just by separating something on a new line and then probably uh, I want here I'm going to have a second level heading something like that so I'm going to do two hash signs um, and next heading so that's if you notice on the preview this is slightly smaller than the top level heading this is a, a second level heading donated by these two hash signs here okay so let's just write some more text So before you do this, you need to these three things, colon. Okay, so we're going to do an ordered list now. So I want bullet points, but as a number. To create the list, we need to do a, a new line. And we t simply type the number for the first bullet. So number, dot, and space. If you don't write the space, it won't work. Oops. This thing. And then we press return to give us a new line, another number, another dot, another space, that thing, uh, another uh, press return or enter, uh, another number, another dot, another space, the other thing. Okay, so you see on our preview it's given us a nice um, ordered list with numbers. Then we'll write another paragraph. The other things you need to know and we're going to do an unordered uh, list here so again we want uh, a new line to have some spacing and there are a number of characters you can use for this you can use an asterisk um, and then write some text and that will give you a bullet point here and I can also replace this asterisk with a, a plus sign and that will uh, you see the preview doesn't change at all um, but you can also use the minus sign and this is probably my favorite because on my keyboard I don't actually need to press the shift key or anything and it's just it's just right there I can press it so um, then press return and I'm going to do another um, I'm going to do another minus sign and if you see on the preview it's actually formatted as bold so far but if I carry on typing then it will give me my bulleted list back um, let's make just one more bullet point just one more there we go um, so that's bullet points so how about if I wanted to make something bold I, I wanted to emphasize it and make it bold I could uh, if you remember bold was two asterisks so that means when we type our text we enter the two asterisks um, in line uh, so two asterisks here bold and two asterisks and that gives us bold text okay and how about italics so uh, remember it was one asterisk, so I-T-A-L-I-C, and that gives us uh, an italic word, just like that. So it really is that it, that simple. Um, I'll show you a couple more things. What I find useful sometimes is a horizontal rule, and the way you can do that is just by pressing the minus sign uh, loads of times going over the page, and then pressing enter, and that gives a horizontal rule. So we can write something underneath this. So let's say for more information please say visit uh, and and then we'll do a link so um, to do a link you open the square brackets and then you type the name of the link the, as you want it to appear in a text so for this I'm going to write Pomelix 
uh, and that's all I really want so then you can close the bracket um, the square bracket that is and open a normal rounded bracket and this is where you write the actual link to the site so HTTP forward slash um, I'm going to link it to our new beta site uh, then you close the brackets and that's all you need to do and here over on the preview you've seen that it goes into a link and if I click it there and hover over it you can see that the mouse cursor changes like that. If we click on that that will take us to the site. But also you can add a hover text over it so if you and the way you do that is you go into the bracket do a space and open some inverted commas and then you type the text that you want um, to appear when you hover over so let's just say the new site uh, and then we put inverted commas over it. and it doesn't change the look of the link um, as it is in the text but when you do hover over it you do see that this this new hover um, text comes so that's that's quite a nice touch um, and that's really all you need to know to get started with Markdown um, it's really quite simple once you get to use it and it's a really great way to rent all of your Podmedics notes and ensures that all your formatting will stay in the same place. And once you get used to it, it's really quick and really useful. I think probably the best way to get used to Markdown is to just to go and have a play with it. Um, and you can go to our site and make some notes or you could just Google uh, Markdown demo and that will take you to a page where you can have a play with Markdown and try out the syntax. And, and do go to the Daring Fireball uh, John Gruber site um, to read about the syntax and there's also a very good Wikipedia page that you can read about all the different things you can do because I haven't shown all of them to you here um, and just have a play so I hope this is useful for you um, we're looking forward to seeing some notes written uh, by yourselves on podmedics.com and uh, good luck